I'm trolling, chat. Calm down. I'm sorry. What's going on, Charles? What's popping, dude? Ah. Uh, okay. Put it directly for you. Okay. I did get fired yesterday. All right. You got fired? I did. Yeah, I did. Who fired and you? And accept part of the responsibility. Although I feel like it was a little out of my control. So. I had a conflict with the clowns outside the food booth a few days ago, right? Okay. And it then escalated to me getting kidnapped when I was uh, in the taco stall by them. By the clowns? So, okay. Exactly, yeah. I think it was Tessa. And uh, at that moment when I did, uh, I tried to stay out of conflict within the stall, but uh, at every time a clown woke, walked in it was kind of like i was on edge all the time so every now and then we'd exchange words i don't really think anything of it i know how the clowns are you know they go back and forth on a lot of things i just make sure any conflict that did happen i tried to take it out of the stall i didn't want it to ruin the business that you guys built you know okay yeah i respect that uh, i got to a point where uh i think or was it yeah i was outside the stall i got a uh, I think one of them beat me up. As I said, hold on, uh, hold on. One of the clowns beat you off? No, no, not beat me up. Beat me up. Oh, oh they beat oh. you. Oh. So, so one of the clowns yeah. beat you up? Yeah. Best. Um, and, uh, I was going to, uh, when they were closing their stall, I said, ah, classic. Tip typical stall clowns. They're, they're closing early. Because you know me. I've been holding that shit open, making ingredients. I'm a one man army in there, Peanut. Type shit. Okay. I get so it then done. what happened? Um, after that, one of them got really pissed. They, uh, they jumped the counter. Uh, one of them kicked my ass. I tried to run out. Uh, when I run out, I got beat down. And then, uh, one of them, I think, yelled something like, This is the worst mistake you've ever done. You're gonna regret it, right? I didn't think too much of it. They're clowns. Um, I got pulled aside by Ellie. She said she was hearing complaints about me. I tried to, uh, explain to her that I was sort of out of my control. Because b before I did, I tried to apologize to the clowns because, you know, in the back of my head, you did remind me that, you know, people are right, you are wrong sometimes, you know? For the greater good of people, you know, gotta, gotta bend the knee. I tried to do it two separate times. Uh, didn't really work out. And then uh, I think it came to a point where I kind of had to find them again. Kind of put my cards out on the table. And now I can't say that my res, uh, that my problem is solved with them. And I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm, I'm think I'm more comfortable around them than I ever was before. You know. Hold on, hold on. But, but why did you get fired though? So you got uh, fired think, for because you was fucking around with the clowns? I think it's because it caused stall drama, and I can understand Ellie not wanting the, you know, there to be like any like stigma between the stalls. If that makes sense. So she fired you because you had a little bit of beef with the clowns, basically? I think I think that, but she said she heard other complaints, but I kind of wanted to, like, gauge her thought process on, like, what the complaints were. Because I feel like everyone I typically serve, like, I do pretty well. I'm, like, pretty, like, I'm a pretty good employee. You know, I don't really dunk on people, you know. I, I exchange words if I get words given to me, but other than that, at the end of the day, it, it's whatever, you know. I, I like to serve people food. Um, I don't think she wanted to elaborate more on it. I think she uh, kind of had her mind made up, but I did tell her that um, whatever may come across is uh, uh, good in the future. I won't hold you guys obligated to um, obviously what happened. And uh, you know, if anything happens in the future that cross paths, I'm gonna remember like the chance she gave me to work there. You know. Well, it's you. I uh, so listen, dude. I'll be, I'll be real with you. I I, I haven't yeah. been around the taco shop a little bit. I've been doing other shit. I've been a little busy. I can't lie. But, uh, uh, I mean, so, so be, yeah. what, what are you looking for? I mean, listen, personally, you know, if, if what you're saying is true, I mean, personally, I wouldn't have fired you. But at the end of the day, you know, Ellie's the other manager, and I, and I trust Ellie's what she does, so I understand. I mean, well, I don't, I'm the manager, too, but I'm saying I trust whatever she does. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. are you mm -hmm. looking for your job back? Because if you're looking for your job back, I got You know, I, I just want to speak to Ellie and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I think it's better. If, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think it's better you talk to Ellie first because... I don't know how I feel about getting it back, mainly because 
I, I don't really want to let the place down because I kind of feel like I did, you know? I don't feel like I worked there enough times and this was a mess up that I didn't really think could happen, you know? Uh, but, let me, um, uh, okay, well, she's going to be around a little bit, probably like one or two hours. I'll speak to Ellie. I'll see what's up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe uh, maybe she wanted to give you a, se a second chance. I do. Maybe um, if, if you want, I'm open to talking to her too. Um, just about it. Because I did try to talk to her, obviously, uh, when she was doing it. I think she was kind of in the moment because obviously in the moment decisions are based off what you've heard. So, yeah, 100%. Uh, it, it, it's fine. I, I would say if you want to talk to her and if you want to just drag me in to also talk to her, that's completely fine. Um, normally it would be open right now because I usually set it up for you guys. No, hundred percent. I, I know you. Listen, I, I know you did good work, Charles. I, you know, I ain't saying you didn't. I, I saw what you did. I always see what a lot of people do. You know, what I'm saying that shit don't I go you, unnoticed. I, I always see. Yeah. So I, I know you did work. I know you did good. But uh, yeah. I, like mm -hmm. I said, I mean, if you want your job, I, look, I fuck with you. You know, what I'm saying you. You had a little tussle with my girl yesterday. We sorted that out. You know, what I'm saying you was wanting to, you know, to say sorry and all that type of stuff. But like I yeah. said, let, I'll speak to Ellie and we'll see if you can get a second chance. I do. Hey. If I do end up getting it though, hey, <laughs> listen, I'm just gonna be real with you. Any, I'm not even gonna look at another stall P. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, listen, I don't really. I mean, listen, I'll be real with you. I, I fuck with other stalls all the time, but the difference is, I, I'm a manager. You know what you're, I'm saying? You're seasoned. And you're you're a, you know you're a seasoned yeah, man. Yeah, I'm know? a manager, but also not just that, but it's like most of the time when I fuck around with other people, it don't get really, it don't really get violent most of the time. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, like I. I think it was just because the clowns that kind of went this way. I think if it was a different group, it would have been different. So are you saying that they went valid on you first? Like they attacked you first? Yeah, I I didn't swing at them. So all you did was talk shit to them a little bit and they attacked you, basically what you're saying. To put it into perspective, when I was getting beat down, and one of them pulled a wrench, I just stood there. I didn't punch back. Never mind. That Osvaldo, stand your ground. Hey, dude. I heard this bitch out, Osvaldo. I heard this bitch out. I heard this bitch right now, Osvaldo. I swear to God, Osvaldo. Stand on business, man. Come on, Osvaldo. We need a hostage. Stand on business. Stand on business. Stand on business. Stand on business. I got that big dick on me, Osvaldo. I got that big dick on me. Bullets for everybody. Hey, why me? Wait, wait, wait. It's just him. It's just him. It's just Osvaldo. I just go take someone from inside. Yo, if these two take someone from the taco stall, we shoot all of them. Right? The guy with the gun. Like if these two try to take somebody from the taco stall, I'm like, hey, 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 y'all better not be taking nobody from the taco stall, man. Take this guy, take this guy. About just one of them. Pink jacket. Nah, dude, nobody. Pink jacket. Nobody. Pink jacket. Nah, 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 dude. Nah, I'm working dude. the Listen, stall. Listen, man, I need Peanut, somebody. tell him not to take me. I don't, you gonna have to find somebody else, man. Pink, okay, him right in front of you, small dude. I'm trying to work. Hey, hey, don't, do, don't, do it. don't do it. Don't do it. I'm smart eyed. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. No, no, nah, nah, man. Get me no fucking thing. My fu it's my fucking taco bomb. workers, man. It's my fucking taco nah, workers. I'm trying to see the fridge. Uh, I'm bomb, just running out. Bomb, get a real fucking job, bomb. Stop fucking putting shit in tacos. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, don't be. Hey, yeah, these motherfuckers make more money than you, man. Hey, That's probably yeah, true. <laughs> that is probably true. Yeah, at least I have fun. They might have fun. Yeah. Some people like putting the fries in the bag, bro. Oh, he's a CG slave. He makes he, he does all that so CG can have infinite money. Oh, that's crazy. What is you, what are you, what are you saying, bro? What? You guys are fucking idiots, man. Holy shit, you guys are stupid. It must be Ray. Go do something with your life, man. Go do something. Go get some motion, bro. All you go, all you do is drive around and act like a fucking idiot. Go get some motion, man. Go do something, dude. Go do something. Get you some motion, man. Get you some motion. Right you don't do shit, on. man. Go get you a business. Go get you a business. Go get you a gang. Go get the people to back you up, man. You a hoe. Remember that. You're a hoe. No, not you, as father, but the people guy. you ha the people you hang with, a bunch of hoes, man. Oh, shut the oh, fuck yeah, up, you I know. Do, you, I you, do. you 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 get a gun for the fashion. Shut your ass up, man. Hey, when you catch McGregor and his boys, Bro. we smoking the fuck out of him, all right? Yeah, we smoking the fuck. Shoot at him. Yeah, yeah, we smoking the fuck out of McGregor and his boys, all right? When y'all see him, you guys are yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. All right.
they just pulled up trying to take trying to take me hostage or something. I don't fucking know. And then they were trying to take one of the taco workers hostage. And then he just started talking mad shit. So if they pull up back again, be fucking careful, man. These guys are just saying dumb shit. It's too, too this guy pulled up. He, he got mad because I protected one of the taco workers. And he called him a CG slave. He, he, he said he does nothing but get money for CG. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. If I would have had a gun, P and I would have already shot him by now. That's fine. If they pull back around, just smoke the fuck out of him. Sorry. Hey, we'll talk later. I'll, I'll speak to you. Hey, right? I we'll, promise. Hey, listen, listen. Hey, I'll see you in a bit, all right? That sounds good, dude.